Himawari 8, the jewel in the crown for all globe earthers, and my own personal satellite. <laughs> hey there. So how does someone confirm Himawari images with terrestrial observations? Well, quite easily, actually. I live here on the east coast of Australia, within the high definition field of view of the Himawari 8 geostationary satellite. Because of the massive size of the Himawari image, we can zoom right in and see local weather conditions and even individual clouds, giving me or anyone within this field of view the ability to photograph the sky and then in real time compare those photographs to the corresponding image from Himawari 8, which can take anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes to be downloaded from the satellite and then uploaded to the internet, which for a high resolution image that's supposedly CGI, that's awfully quick. There's no possible way that the Himawari image could be a computer generated or a fake crafted image. It's a photograph in every sense of the word. Even if the image was just a photograph from a high altitude camera, and then rendered onto a 3D ball, there's no logical way that that could be created, rendered, and then uploaded in under 20 minutes. I've made these comparisons for a couple of years now. Some you may have seen, most you probably haven't. I've done heaps of them. Back at the beginning of 2018, I did an observation called Operation Himawari. <laughs> where for about two weeks straight, I took some photos every few hours, compiled them together with the corresponding satellite image from Himawari, and then posted them onto Twitter with the hashtag Operation Himawari. It's still there if you want to go check it out. But for now, I'll just keep showing you some of the observations and the newer ones I've done recently while I talk. These matchups were incredibly easy to create, and I was a little surprised at how well the photos I took matched with the satellite images. It doesn't matter if the weather is clear, raining, partly cloudy, or any other type of weather conditions, the photos always match the satellite images. One thing I noticed of the reaction from Flat Earthers, besides the obvious ranting and raving, before I did these, Flat Earthers just dismissed the Himawari images as fake, CGI completely crafted from scratch, but over the last couple of years, their explanations seem to have shifted towards photographs taken from high altitude weather balloons coupled with weather data from Doppler radar, then wrapped around a ball. I like to think I was partly responsible for that shift in their way of thinking. I doubt it though. <laughs> but of course, as always with flat earthers, High altitude weather balloons taking photos for Himawari is counterintuitive to their existing arguments of Himawari using the blue marble data and weather radars to create a CGI or fake image. So flat earthers, which one is it? Photos from high altitude weather balloons or CGI created from blue marble data coupled with Doppler radar? Hmm? Which one? The fact is, the Himawari image is a photo. Not a regular photo like we'd take, it's actually a scan photo taken with the Himawari's advanced 16-channel multispectral imager. But, because its exposure is set really low, so the Earth isn't a giant bright light, much like the differences between photographing the Moon, I guess, with long exposure versus low or short exposure. But this is why, at night, on the Himawari image, the Earth is just black. So, in order to see the vital weather data in this dark zone, Himawari's imager is capable of shooting in infrared. But in order to see more than just clouds, the blue marble data is used, giving that CGI look. Flat Earth is crying, scream, do your research! But I'm actually surprised by how much they don't know about this satellite. Sometimes on the Himawari images, I've noticed these lines which are between the photo scans, which I thought flat earthers would be all over that, but they're not. This just shows to me how dismissive they are of the Himawari images. They just don't want to look at it, and I wonder why. Denial and the power of belief is 
obviously an extremely strong human trait that sometimes I don't even understand. The fact is, Flat Earthers is a testament to the power of the human mind to convince the weak-minded into believing all kinds of crazy stuff. You know, it's almost like Flat Earthers and other science deniers are capable of doing Jedi mind tricks on themselves. <laughs> Thanks heaps for watching as always. I hope you stay safe out there. Wear your mask, social distance if you haven't got rid of this freaking COVID. All that stuff does work. It eventually works. Just keep at it. I know it's annoying. Just keep at it. Also, thanks to everyone for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing to the videos. I really do appreciate it. I also do have a Patreon. Thanks to my patrons, John Stock, Walter Bislin, and J-Mac. I really do appreciate your support, gentlemen. And anyone else who would like to be part of that community, uh, that would be fantastic. It's pretty cool. It's a good little community where we get to communicate with each other. And I also show the videos early when I can. So check that out. Okay, until next time, see you later. And don't forget to tell all the morons out there to get fucked. See ya.